Over the last several years, you've probably seen Bitcoin suggested as a cutting-edge investment option. There's been a lot of debate about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, its proponents arguing that it's the future of currency and investing, while its detractors argue that it's a risky investment option that may not generate big returns. What exactly is Bitcoin, and how can you determine whether it's the right investment for you? This is the beginner's guide on how to invest in Bitcoin. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin was created by a programmer or group of programmers using the name Satoshi Nakamoto. But the real creators of Bitcoin are still unknown to the public. Bitcoin is one of the most widely used types of cryptocurrency. In a cryptocurrency system, virtual coins or tokens are used instead of physical cash. Coins have no intrinsic value, and they aren't backed up by gold or silver. Bitcoin was created to solve a couple of big cryptocurrency flaws. First, it was designed to prevent crypto coins from being fraudulently duplicated. Think about how easy it is to make copies of your computer's data, documents, photos, files, etc. Cryptocurrency wouldn't be possible if anybody could duplicate a coin and create an unlimited amount of currency for oneself. You can't just make copies of a $20 bill, right? Likewise, there's a need to prevent people from reproducing crypto coins. Bitcoin uses a digital technology called blockchain, an advanced coding mechanism that disperses a single code over thousands of different computers. For example, let's say that your coin is built from the code XDA146DDS. Blockchain segments the code into smaller pieces and stores the pieces of code across many computers. If a hacker wanted to gain access to the code, they'd have to hack various computers to access the entire code. Blockchain also employs a public ledger, which uses thousands of computers, referred to as nodes, to keep track of coins and their owners. If a coin's data is changed, the nodes will cross-reference each other's records to verify whether the change is accurate and that the coin's owner initiated it. So, you might be asking, what is Bitcoin used for? Once you purchase coins, you can use them in online transactions wherever they're accepted. Remember, when you make a transaction with a coin, there's no actual money being pulled from your bank account. Money only leaves your bank account when you purchase the coin itself, not when you make purchases with a coin. Like cash currency, the value of a coin may fluctuate. That's why some investors are getting excited about Bitcoin and other types of cryptocurrency. Investors speculate that Bitcoin's value may rise significantly if there's a surge in the market. I'll explain the arguments for and against cryptocurrency investment later on. What do you need to invest in Bitcoin? You don't need very much to invest in Bitcoin. You only need your personal identification documents, bank account information, a secure internet connection, if you're going to be purchasing coins through a stockbroker, you may not need to supply your personal information or financial information because your stockbroker will likely have all that on record. Here's how to invest in Bitcoin, in four easy steps. 1. Join a Bitcoin exchange. First, you'll need to determine where you want to make a Bitcoin purchase. Most Bitcoin investors use cryptocurrency exchanges. There's no official Bitcoin company because it's an open source technology, but there are several different exchanges that facilitate Bitcoin transactions. These exchanges are the middlemen of cryptocurrency investing, like a stock brokerage. If you decide to purchase from an exchange, you'll have to decide which exchange you want to buy from. Here are a few of the most popular options. Coinbase, a very popular crypto exchange that ensures losses in the event of a security breach or fraudulent transfers. Bitfinex, the longest-running cryptocurrency exchange that's optimized for advanced traders and lenders, unfortunately, Bitfinex doesn't currently accept US customers strategize the strengths and weaknesses of the company. 2. Get a Bitcoin wallet. When you purchase a coin, it's stored in a wallet, which is where all your cryptocurrency is stored. There are two types of wallets you can get, a hot wallet or a cold wallet. A hot wallet is a wallet that's operated by either your cryptocurrency exchange or by a provider. Some exchanges will automatically provide you with a hot wallet when you open your account. In any case, hot wallets are convenient because you'll be able to access your coins through the internet or a software program. Some notable hot wallets are Electrum, software that enables you to store your coins on your computer. Mycelium, a mobile-only app for Android and iPhone users. However, hot wallets are not the most secure form of coin storage. If the hot wallet 